guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording Thursday, June 20th, and you guys are getting dual video action from here on out until the draft. I think that's the plan. I think we're going to do double videos here until the draft. Sometimes you'll get double drafts. Sometimes we'll get one normal video, one draft. Today's that day. Earlier today, you saw our Joe Mazzula video because he's been on a, I was going to say world tour, but he's been on a Boston tour with the Larry O'Brien. He's actually uh, never going to leave. Yeah, now we're doing a, uh, we're doing a, a set of, videos looking at potential Celtics draft prospects. We're going to have Tyler Rucker on earlier next week. Fingers crossed. So you will see a show with him breaking down um, the draft and potential prospects. He's far more of an expert than us. However, we're going to go off his, uh, I was supposed to say company. Is No Ceilings company? No Ceilings is who Tyler works for. We're going to go off site. their mock draft. Yeah, the site. And according to them, Baylor Shireman is who the Celtics could potentially take out of Creighton. Uh, Baylor Shireman, six foot seven, weight 202, uh, spent, I believe, four years at Creighton. Yep, senior, 23 years old, so he's a bit on the older side. Uh, average 18 and a half points, nine rebounds, almost four assists, shooting 45, 38, and 87, playing 35 games in 37 minutes a game. Read a little snippet from Tyler Rucker, our guy. Plenty of names have started to circulate as of late when it comes to generating buzz in the first round. So we enter promise season, quote unquote, we'll start to find in the upcoming uh start to find in the upcoming weeks if the smoke has turned into fire. Boston has built one of the most impressive rosters in terms of well, overall balance in recent years, with plenty of money tied up to the starters moving forward at the hiccups. Celtics will need to look to find some depth throughout the draft on favorable contracts. One name that continues to heat up in draft circles is Creighton Blue Jays wing Baylor Shireman, a crafty lefty who can light it up in a hurry. Shireman is going to intrigue NBA teams with his size and versatility on the offensive side of the ball. For teams looking for a serious boost in their rotation, Shireman is going to have plenty of fans. He's a name to keep a close eye on, as teams are always looking for shooters who can also play with high feel. Those are two boxes that Shireman can check emphatically. So, thoughts after I read that, Sam, before we get into some other scouting stuff? Sounds like some type of archetype player that the Celtics are looking to secure for the future, if that makes sense, right? Like you don't want to have to worry if for whatever reason you aren't able to get a Sam Hauser extension done this summer, which apparently is a thing that can happen. I didn't know about that like the entire season, but yeah, they can extend Sam Hauser. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. And to have shooting is never something that goes bad. It's always good to have some extra. So sounds like a good use of a draft pick. Definitely. Uh, next thing we'll look at, this is Kevin O'Connor of the Ringers mock draft or big board. Excuse me. Uh, I actually met Kevin in Dallas. Good guy. Shout out, Kevin. I told him Celtics I block. use this and I always use it. The Celtics vlog is right. Uh, he says shades of Brandon Pajemski, which is pretty damn good. Says his best skills are movement shooter, off ball mover, rebounding and feel for the game. Uh, some minuses are not a great athlete. Shocker. Uh, and logged only 29 blocks in 162 games. Also not ideal for his height. Um, pick and roll skills is a good thing. Field player, solid defender who puts in a bunch of effort or good effort. Uh, excellent, he says. Versatile shooter, capable ball handler, pick and roll skills. All good things. Now, Sam, I have three videos lined up. Hell Two yes. Two minutes, six minutes, four minutes. You can run through them. We don't have to watch the full things if we don't want to. But one is strengths and weaknesses reports uh, from btl sports oh, let me put them on the screen while i say it btl sports right here you got a next joe one, ingles comp <laughs> he did get a joe ingles comp <clears throat> uh yeah. next one is best and worst yeah. case scenario from sleepers media shout out sleepers hit that sub button real quick for him uh i'll do it for btl as well and then the last one we're gonna be looking at uh is his march madness highlights don't need to subscribe to them they have enough uh okay hmm. Let's start here with the strengths and weaknesses report from BTL Sports. Uh, I'm going to link all these in the description. Thank you to these guys for helping us be informed. Let's see. That's all he needs. Good start. He's getting a lot done at the rim. Three ball down it goes. Georgetown here. Oh, this is like showing their highlights and comparing them together. I see. Here's Shireman. Another look. His shot does look a lot like Joe Ingles. Yep, lefty. Ball's <laughs> moving. Oh, it is a little funny. Mm -hmm. Arabello wearing his country's colors, by the way, Argentina. Shireman. I wonder if the you might want to mute the highlights. It's true. I wonder if the um his shot looks a little slow. 
I wonder if that's I think that's okay. Well, maybe not on the catch and shoot. It's not. Yeah, like that took a while to get off. The defender got out there. It's a good point. That was quicker. <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's just the the ones where he's super open. A like quicker. I, I feel like an NBA defender is going to close out on that though. I agree. It's going to be a different game. It was a good pass. Whoever they draft is going to spend a lot of time up, time up in Maine. <laughs> especially with the ownership group saying that they plan on bringing back the majority of the roster. You're going to see that was a nice pass for these guys. I like that one. No, no, no. This is going to be a development project. Like I, I mocked Baylor Shireman. That was quick. Mm. Struggles Mm. connect on contested shots. Well, maybe, (laughs) um, what was I going to say? Uh, I mocked him to the Celtics in one of my mock drafts that I wrote for, I think it was the Hornet site that I would did it for. Um, yikes. And, Lack strength when defending stronger guys. Um, I, I think anybody they draft that is this archetype will be if we need to let Sam Hauser go. And so I don't think they play the first year and maybe wouldn't play the second year if Jordan Walsh develops too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, a insurance policy. The Walsh thing is a good pull. That's literally where I was going to go next. If you're the Celtics, you're hoping you get something out of Jordan Walsh. Maybe not this season, but the next where... He's a little stronger. Like when you look at him out on the court now, he looks like he's a little too small to be out there. You hope his three point jump shot is coming along where you can trust him in tight catch and shoot spots. And you're very excited about his defensive capabilities because that's really what his strengths were coming out of the draft. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 5 million members. It is the most fun and exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats for a shot to win up 100 times your cash. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 in a single game watching your favorite sports this summer. You can make a Prize Picks lineup in as little as 60 seconds. You just need to pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and you're locked in. Now, if you're looking for promotions, Price Picks has got you covered every week from lowering select player stats projections on Tuesdays, which increases your chance of getting a win to getting your entry fees back if you have a losing lineup on Fridays. The finals mean more on Price Picks, and so do the star players. You get boosted playoffs on selected basketball stars that you won't find anywhere else. Now, this week on Price Picks, I'm looking at Jason Tatum. More than 26 and a half points. Jalen Brown, more than three threes, which may be aggressive, but I'm running with that. Download that app today and use a code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. Prize picks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Yeah. Um, We have best and worst case scenarios from Sleepers Media. This is about six minutes. If this ends up getting copyrighted or somebody has a problem with us reacting to this, we won't include this in future ones, but... Figured we can get informed this here. This time we are doing Baylor Shireman. I have a best case and a worst case player comp. For we won't watch Baylor. this whole thing um, because well, there's no highlights, but just like to get a little insight from actual experts. We'll yeah, the take. comps are good. Our comp is better than the other person's comp. In the end, we'll have a consensus player comp for Baylor. All right. Hmm. Best case comparison. What do you have for Baylor Shireman? Another player who came out uh, as an older college prospect. Cause him dropping the draft. I don't think that matters as much as in Baylor's case. Because him dropping the draft, knockdown shooter has become an integral part of a playoff team when healthy. Desmond Bain, former Celtic. Desmond Bain would be crazy, <laughs> and I know he also went super late in the first round. But Desmond Bain would be crazy. I just and that was also the Desmond COVID Bain. draft, right? Sure. Like it was like nobody had a tournament you to watch. Like much. a lot yeah. of weird picks in that one. Celtics get Desmond Bain three years later, whatever it is. I think Shireman is more passing to his game than Desmond Bain does. But Bain is somebody who came in uh, to the Grizzlies. They weren't really sure what to expect from him. He immediately became one of the NBA's better shooters, a plus defender and a key piece on a playoff team. And Mm -hmm. one of the Robins to John Morant, Superman, I think. Interesting. Yeah, it will look like he's a young player. I went with Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves, huh? who stumbled his way into also wouldn't NBA be bad. contender spot and was kind of thought to just be a shooter and is now three years into the league, has found himself being a third option next to two of the more talented. All right, let's do worst there case. Are some out there who view this comp as there potentially being some more potential to his game. So I'm only going to talk about this player right now. It's another Laker. 
I'm going to go with the version of Cam Reddish right now. Ooh. Not great. Where he's a guy who does a little bit of everything. <laughs> well, actually, year, Jack, five points a game. If he becomes boards, Cam Reddish, he's the type of player a team will add and be like, from, from, watch out for that team. From the field. <laughs> Started some games, average over 20 per game for the Lakers, was a inconsistent. Let's see. Um, okay, I went with a completely different archetype. I That's think. a pretty that good another worst player. case. Yeah. I was going to say, if Max Struess is the worst case, Baylor Shireman should be going way higher in the draft. I want to hear his rationale. Maybe there's like his context. Done in the NBA. I went with Max Struess, who okay. I think is like a super diet Mr. Pib version of Austin Reeves. But <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's hooked up. But Struess, once again, a guy you bun- run a bunch of off ball action for much more than Austin. You're not giving him the ball and running pick and roll, but. He is such a playmaker and a vision guy. He had four assists a game this year for Cleveland on a team with two really ball-dominant guards. Yeah. Um, I, I think at minimum, Baylor is a guy whose shooting gravity will allow him to use his passing vision to do dump downs. That's a pretty good worst-case scenario. I I don't hate it. I, I want to see what their like conclusion is. Better. Like, yeah. I think that's a, it's it's a very similar player to me. I'll be honest with you, I like my comps here, Brian. I like your comps as well. I did not take <laughs> the passing into consideration with Desmond Bain as much as I should have. Interesting. I mean, if Max Drews is the worst case, that's pretty good for the Celtics. Like that's this is a weird draft. Like it's crazy. You know. When we were talking about the Desmond Bain comp, we were like, well, COVID draft. This is like a borderline COVID draft, not in the sense that nobody got to watch these guys, but nobody seems to know who's going to be good, who's not going to be good, what the real players are in this one. You may end up with just some weird results. Truthfully, Jack, if you want my honest opinion, I do not think Brad Stevens is going to make the selection at pick number 30. No. I don't think so either. I think if anything, it's even for the flexibility of having a guy in the second round rather than a guaranteed contract in the first. But that's why. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, let's end on a high note and watch his March Madness highlights. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it because I don't want to get cooked. But worst case, I cut this out. But I think we should be okay. Talking his um, shit. Yes, he is. I don't know, man. I I don't hate drafting a potential Sam Hauser replacement. You can never have too much shooting, right? Like correct realistically, um, you just hope you're drafting Say that again? defensive weakness against stronger yeah. guys is something you have to watch out for with the NBA because they're all strong. Yeah, that's a good, good cut, cut though. How many Move games you the ball? Great. <laughs> I'm realizing now this tournament highlights are one game, but <laughs> Creighton lost to Colgate this year. NC State right here. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Where'd you see Colgate? Your face what is, is covering it, and I saw red, and I was like, oh, what? oh, oh. My bad. That's um, okay. <clears throat> um, 29 blocks in 160 games, and there's one. This this might be the least athletic block I've ever seen. <laughs> that looks like me. Pick up. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he got had, it though. Got the job done. Blocks tonight. You kind of look like Baylor Sherman. Yeah, what Good guy with hair. the fluffy hair in the front? Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Worst people look like. Okay, a little something there, a little something, something. This is a tough collapse. Up nine with seven to play, and they lose. Yeah, they Ooh. they choked this. That's a nice pass. He tried his That's best. Crazy Dude, shot. That's a crazy shot. Throws up the three. Is that the last highlight? Uh no, we've got three minutes left. So I don't no, know. This must be an overtime one. If there's three minutes left of highlight and we're already this deep into the game, this I assume he like popped off. Up eight with a minute? Yeah. Yeah. Up, Up nine. nine that with was a minute? Three. No, eight. Oh, eight. Foot on the was line. Was two. oh wait. Wait. This this was definitely not from this year. Yeah, this is last year. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Anyways. <clears throat> That's it's all the same. Who cares? People in the comments or watching this, like it's not, it's so not this year. It's not no, this year. So we figured it out eventually, guys. Come on. Game time makes getting NBA Finals tickets even faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets. 
to the tip off. Like right now, I was looking on the app and it's really easy to use. Just download the app. Lots of pictures for us sports fans, lots of pictures. And, you know, the tickets for Celtics game one and whoever they play between six, seven hundred bucks. But the closer you get to actual tip time, it's going to go down. So you and your friends may do a last minute thing. And I know it's a lot of money, but maybe it's two, three of your friends. Last minute trip. Boom. Let's go. Let's see what the tickets are on game time. You never know. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets. Last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. Okay, here's the deal last minute deals save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy theater, etc. Now, the flash deal is save even more with exclusive in app deals on select seats ahead of the game or the event. Save even more when you choose a section for the zone deals. You choose a section, let game time choose the seats. Sounds pretty good to me. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA Finals tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. For not hitting contested shots, that's a very contested shot. <laughs> he does have a little bit of a set shot too, which should yeah. concern you for closeouts in the NBA. <laughs> Granted, this is a year ago, so things. I can do want to see. I want to see a little bit more movement shooting. That's oh. a nice finish. See, I, that wasn't a very athletic finish though. Like it feels like NBA athletes will get that. If you That's such an awkward shot. Watch how awkward this like bait. Watch his base. Like watch his his. Okay, his like watch his hips. He seems like yeah, it's like a weird turn. Shoots. It's odd. He like jerks forward while he's shooting the ball. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Nice off ball movement. It's he like jerks his arms. It's such a weird shot. I mean, <clears throat> Tyrus Halliburton is a weird shot too. Like this isn't like judgment. Jack works at words, but. No, I'm not out. I think it'd be a fine pick. Good it was a pass. nice pass, too. He he is a bit more dynamic than you see from normal shooters. Like, I, I do see the Max Struess comp. I think it makes sense. I do want to see him move a little bit while shooting. Sent that guy to the nether. Mm. Is that a Minecraft reference from you? It is. It wasn't <laughs> meant to be. It's just what came out. <laughs> He's Man, got he a did. very line drive shot. Respect. Like, this is, this is the antithesis of Sam Hauser's shot. This is my shot. Literally me. <laughs> Literally, that's a Sam highlight right there. <laughs> it pull is. Up, pull up like 15 feet away. Damn, they went three rounds deep this year, four rounds deep. Creighton went that far last year. Damn. Yeah, Creighton's been a pretty good school. <clears throat> mm, maybe don't put that one in the package. <laughs> maybe don't put the banker. It's a skill shot. They're up by a lot of points. Okay, so like, that's moving this. a little bit. It's moving yeah. a little bit there. That's a little bit better. Interesting. You know what we should do this whole week while we do it? We're gonna make a tier list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can have a power rankings. And by the time Tyler joins us for the pod, we'll show him our tier list and he can mock us. I feel like you guys are fucking dumb. <laughs> do you want one and me make one or we can make one together? No, we'll make a team one. All right, let's see. Right now, he's number one. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not saying last. rankings. We can put them. Do you know what t- like tier list? Like S A B A tier yeah. maker. Yeah. All right. Let's see. S A B C D. Uh, we need an F for haters on the show. We can't have. We can't have nothing. I have to have an F. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. F's in the chat. We don't, we don't have to have an E because E is stupid. But <clears throat> you can have an F. Okay. Um, you ever have the E's when you were in school? Here we go. No. What is an E? It's F, but they just call it E instead. Did you guys have that? I don't remember. I, we must have had it like one time. Maybe it was when I was where Joe went to school because I went there for two years. Hendrickson? I think it might, yeah, it might, it might have been. Okay. There. All right. Here we go. Where are we putting Baylor Shireman? Put him at B. Not F. Yeah, I think B. I think we got to start in the middle. We can move it around as we go, but I think I think we put it at B in. Move from there. Bookmark I don't hate it. Tab. Bookmark that tab. Oh yeah, good call. Hopefully, how did you? How did I say? How did? Oh, you you found a picture of him. Okay, I did. Yeah, I just downloaded it. 
Um, let me download this image just in case. Um, hopefully, I don't. Will I lose this? I need to log in. Worst case, I'll lose it. And we remember we put him in B. But yeah, okay, cool. Baylor Shireman, first prospect. There's your info. B, B tier for HBTC. Appreciate you for tuning in. All the time, wrap it up. Hey, thank you very much for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Coming at you with new stuff even throughout the summer. We're going to have pods Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and other videos in between. Some Maybe some fun from the parade. Who knows? We're going to try. We're going to try our best. Um, you can also leave a like, comment, tell us what you thought, tell us what you think of Shireman, and we'll see what we're going with when the draft rolls around. You can also find us on Spotify and Apple. If you subscribe there, the pods and recaps, when they happen, will go into your feed. Leave a five-star review. We would appreciate that. Email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com. Again, if you went to the parade, send us your pictures. We would love to see everybody looking happy out there. That's what, what, why we play. You can also find us. Oh, also, Jack and I are going to, well, never mind. This is late. It's later in the day. We're already gone. Uh, HB, uh, not HBTC pod. How about them C's? Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook's the name of the pod. Streams are there. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter is at Jack's One NBA. Mine is at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Bye. Tackle. Come on. Tackle. Tackle.